kind of looks like off, but it's O-F-E. Hello, my lovely babies. Oh, welcome back. Today's video is all about old-fashioned elixir e-liquid. Yes, today we are looking at Old Fashioned Elixir E-Liquid. It is four flavors I'm going to be trying here today. But they sent me this really nice box. And no, it's not filled with E-Liquid. It had t-shirts in it and stickers and a mug and the E-Liquid. So there's a bunch of stickers in here as well as this mug for OFE and some sunglasses. But I have the four flavors right here to try. But before I get into that, I want to let you guys know that Old Fashioned Elixirs E-Liquid is doing a giveaway a day for this entire month of May on their social medias. So they're doing a giveaway on Instagram, a giveaway on Twitter, and a giveaway on Facebook every single day for their e-liquid. I will link below to their social media links if you have a Twitter or Instagram or Facebook and want to follow them and find out how to be, maybe be one of the winners that they are picking every single day from there. And also at the end of this video, you can find out how to be one of 10 winners I'm going to be picking to win the Old Fashioned Elixir e-liquid line for yourself. So huge e-liquid giveaway, 10 winners. Just stay tuned. So these e-liquids are in glass dripper top bottles that are childproof and they are 30 mils. They are a 70 VG 30 PG blend available in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams nicotine. 15 milliliter bottles are $8.99 and 30 mil bottles are $14.99. The four flavors I have here are pretty self-explanatory. We have peach cobbler, we have lemon berry, cup of joe and apple pie and these are their main street line here is the bottle art they also have a tobacco line so i am going to try lemon berry first because it sounds really good it is a lemon tart with berries and it just sounds amazing so mm. oh wow it smells like almost like lemonade berry lemonade <laughs> that's what it smells like I'm going to be trying these flavors out on my Troll RDA, but if you do not know how to build or don't want to build, you can always invest in these little 510 dripping atomizer barrels. You put a couple drops of the e-liquid down in there, you put a drip tip on, and then you get a couple puffs of the flavor. They're super simple, super easy to use. I swear by these. I used to use them all the time for my flavor testing until I got into RDAs. And I will leave a link below to those direct dripping atomizers in my favorite section below. All right, let's try out these flavors. Mmm, this lemon berry smells so good. Oh wow, that's intense lemon. I was not expecting the lemon to be that intense. So this is a really powerful lemon. It's kind of like a sweet lemon. I'm getting a lot of berry and a lot of lemon now. It's supposed to be like a lemon tart. The undertone to this flavor I would feel like is the like the dessert part of it, like the tart, like the bread or the dough part of it. I'm getting mainly like a strong sweet lemon with sweet berries. It's pretty good, but it is an intense flavor. And it's almost like a sugary lemon, kind of like the lemon you would think of if you were doing the lemon head candy minus the sour. Next, I'm going to try peach cobbler. Mmm, I'm excited already. Oh my gosh. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. It is straight up, it's peach cobbler. It is straight up peach cobbler. You're getting the doughy, sugary, flaky bits from the top and the creamy, thick, juicy, freaking like, ugh, just, I just like, <laughs> I imagine myself eating peach cobbler like this. No, I'm just kidding. That is freaking delicious. I love me some peach vapes. Don't think I've ever had a peach cobbler vape before, but I've had peach cobbler in real life, like cobbler, whatever fruit is in there is delicious and sugary. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good. This is such a realistic dessert vape. I'm like, I need it. I need more of this. Oh my god. Mm. You know how like the best part of the cobbler is like the top flaky layer of sugary breaded goodness? <laughs> this is what it tastes like with the gooey pe- oh my god. Oh my god. This is some bomb ass peach cobbler vape. 
mm, it's so sugary too but not like overpowering like this could be an all-day vape it's not super super sweet but it's just sweet enough that it's a dessert vape totally it would be great for after dinner or all-day dessert vapes if you're like me and all you vape is dessert and candy flavors all day long next I am trying their apple pie I've had a million and one apple pie vapes before and I do like them some I like more than others because some have too much cinnamon in them for me even though like I'm definitely more approving of cinnamon in my flavor palette now hmm wow very fresh apple scent as well as almost like a candied apple scent, like Jolly Rancher apple. But definitely just getting mainly like a buttery apple scent. Mmm. Okay, so this one is definitely one of those apple pies that's not as intense on the cinnamon. It's a very undertone of cinnamon. Mainly getting fresh apple slices like green apples and then a buttery flaky crust. Like a super flaky, like ultimately like a light like a light apple pie instead of like a heavy doughy bready more like a light flaky crispy apple pie with a little bit of cinnamon almost like maybe a little bit of cream like if they put ice cream on top but it would say a la mode if it was apple pie a la mode right mmm yeah this is super super light and flaky fluffy apple pie you get that cinnamon sugary glaze along with the apples too and I'm just glad to say that it's not too overbearing with cinnamon because I feel like the only, that's what puts me off of apple pie vapes is the cinnamon that some companies add where this is more like a sugar cinnamon and it's toned down mmm this is a good one too so definitely the peach cobbler was like a super sugary desserty this one's more of like a it's still desserty because it's a pie, but it's not as sugary and as heavy with the sweet. A really good apple pie vape, nonetheless. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, that's good. And lastly, I am trying Cup of Joe. Now, coffee isn't my favorite vape. Like, I don't even drink coffee in real life. Like, I drink it every so often as a treat. Woo! Woo! This smells like dark coffee to me. But like literally every coffee vape I ever smell smells like dark coffee. So we're going to try it and then we'll know. But it does smell like a dark roast. <laughs> Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. I don't even drink enough coffee to know what I'm talking about. And when I do drink coffee, it's literally like a frappuccino or a granita. You know, one of those sugary freaking <laughs> coffee drinks. Okay. Smells a lot darker. But this is like, I want to say this is probably like a medium, because it's not a light sweet coffee, but you definitely get the cream in there. The It's not as bitter as a dark coffee roast would be. Still really don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to coffee though. Hmm. You know, I could drink a coffee that tastes like this, like if it was like a medium like this, because I wouldn't say it was light because it's not as creamy and sweet as like a cappuccino, but it's not as dark as just like straight black coffee. Definitely a good coffee vape for somebody who does not enjoy coffee vapes. And I really like the aftertaste that it leaves in my mouth. Like, it lingers in there and it's really yummy. Okay, so my favorite out of this line would definitely be the peach cobbler. And then it's kind of a toss up between the apple pie and the coffee vape because they're both kind of ones that aren't like my favorite. I guess, you know, if I had to pick, I would probably vape the coffee vape over the apple pie vape only because it's like a really yummy coffee and it leaves this really nice aftertaste. And the apple pie is kind of like a lighter, flaky, fluffy apple pie. And then last would be the lemon berry tart only because the lemon is pretty powerful. And if you're not like a super lemon lover, then it might be a little too much for your taste buds. But I am getting down on some of that peach cobbler. That was so good. Like I want to make a cobbler now because that was just delicious. I don't even, when is the last time I had a cobbler? I think the last time I had a cobbler, it was like blueberry cobbler and it had to have been like at least a year or a year and a half ago probably like one of my family get-togethers my aunts are great bakers they always do like their signature cobbler or their pie or their fudge or the cookies you know <laughs> so now's the time to tell you guys about how you can win I will be picking 10 winners to win the old-fashioned elixirs e-liquid line and also if you want another chance to win you can follow them on their social media 
Media's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for their giveaways that they're doing every single day, one a day, for the whole month of May. But right now, right here on this video, you can win. I will be picking 10 winners, and all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, share it anywhere on social media, you must share it, preferably like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. But if you don't have any of those, Reddit and Google Plus, those all count too. And then comment down below which flavor you think is the best. I will be picking the 10 winners in this Sunday's coming video, and then they will be sending out the prizes directly from their company. But if you don't want to wait that long to see if you win, you can always go to their social medias where they do a winner every single day on every single social media. Links will be below. I will leave a link below to these e-liquids if you are interested in checking them out. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like eLiquids mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload videos that are random and not vaping related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. For real though, that peach cobbler dough, so good.